Welcome to the Sunday Night Sports Blitz. We're joined now by Plain Dealing Head Football Coach Christopher Wilson. Coach, happy to have you. Hey, glad to be here. Appreciate it, Coach. So, first off, you're one of the first, or I should say, you're one of many first-year head coaches in the area this year. Mm -hmm. You started this summer. Sort of take me through that process a little bit because kind of getting a late start on it, but also having to implement your system in such a strange time. How has that been for you? Well, yeah, um, I got in right at the right at the beginning of June. And the, the lucky thing about me, um, as opposed to some of my cohorts, is that we only had about 30 kids. Um, so when we started the summer program, we were averaging about 24, 25 kids um, during the summer. And when they changed then when they changed and up the, the, the quantity of kids that we could have in the gym, <laughs> um, you know, we were able to get all our kids in and we were, you know, we would take one day for offense. We would take one day for defense that we were able to kind of get everything in that we wanted to do in the summer really prior to school starting so it wasn't as much of a struggle for us because you know I didn't have to have one group of kids on Monday and then an entirely different group on um, the next day so we were able to kind of get our kids all in at one time and so and get them all in and kind of put everything in the way we wanted to so that's an instance where not having a ton of kids probably benefited it definitely helped <laughs> it definitely helped so um, like I said we defense and coaches were able to get everything in and pretty much have our ones and twos already kind of ironed out in our mind and then once school started you know we had a couple kids that decided they wanted to join the fold and we were able to input them so now by you know going into week four we're pretty much at full strength of everything we're trying to do. Well, I'm sure you learn a lot of lessons very fast when you're a first year head coach so anything that stood out to you in particular and the biggest surprise that comes along with this job? Well I think the main thing was being responsible for the entire group and you know like we were talking before we came on you know an offensive line coach I've been an offensive line coach my entire career and it was always just me and my eight kids and we were a really really close-knit group um, but now being responsible for everybody you know coaches included um, really just trying to divide your time and be organized and make sure we have everybody where they need to be and you know putting the kids in the best positions for us to be successful as a whole. So this is a situation for you. You've always wanted to be a head coach. Yeah. Um, sort of coming into this plain dealing job, what made this job stand out above other opportunities and why was it the perfect fit for you? Um, I used to have dreams as a kid and you know even when I started coaching that every when I got a head coaching job everything that I wanted I wanted to be on campus you know I loved working in cattle I'm a cattle kid but I, I hated the fact on Friday that if it was a home game I still had to get on the bus you know when I was at Green Oaks we'd have to get on the bus to go to Northwood and borrow their facilities plain dealing is the perfect job for me because everything I need is on campus I can go from my classroom to my office in the field house from my field house to my field and all of it belongs to me you know so it, it's just it's, the blessing is that I don't have to borrow and I don't have to be a burden on another school that everything that I need for my kids I can have at home. I know there are a lot of questions going into this season you know would you get to play a football season this year and as a first year head coach I'm sure you're even more anxious to get this this team playing but now that you are in the season and you've got have gotten to have a few games back to back you know what's the attitude around the team are they just grateful every week and how do you use this as a, a lesson for them to get through adversity? Well I think that's that think that's the key you know um, we tell them you know one day at a time one week at a time and you know everything this football season it's so fluid and things change from day to day week to week hour to hour and so we just you know we focus on the task at hand at that present moment and if something changes you know my coaches are the first to know my boys are the second to know you know and so we just kind of go one one day at a time we don't try to do too much too soon because as you know you know you'll be preparing for a game on Friday and then you get a call on Thursday and you know like North DeSoto you know got to you know you're scrambling for a team and you find one six hours away you got to do a turnaround trip you know so you just you know being fluid and being flexible you know and really really being organized with what you do as a program you know because you have to be ready and you have to be tailor-made for the changes because it's no different than on a Friday night you know things are going well and then in a minute they're not you know so just being ready to be uh, flexible and, and to be able to move around when you need to. Coach, we appreciate you coming in here. It's always a blast having you. We got to go out to the Haynesville game last week. We'll be sure to be there this upcoming week. Thanks for joining us here. No problem. Y'all yeah, have a good one. Appreciate Thanks, Coach. coach. All righty, so coming up, we are going to be hopping into this week's Bright Smile Award winner. We're also going to check out our playmakers in the community. Will Pleasant Grove Football honored some of these heroes during their halftime? Coming up.